Asari B'Teve seems like a very unique day. On the one hand, it's eight days after Hanukkah ended, or seven days after Hanukkah ended some years. We just finished a week, over a week of Hal and Odah, of latkes and donuts, of such an exciting yontif, and now we're fasting. On the other hand, it's such a serious day. It may seem like, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, it's a lighter tanis because it starts late, ends early, it's in the winter time. It's not such a long tanis. And yet, Avud Ram tells us, but Asar B'teves, that were it to fall out on Shabbos, which it doesn't according to our calendar, but were it to fall out on Shabbos, we would even fast on Shabbos because the Novi Yechezko says that the fast is Be'etzayim Hayomazah, the essence of this day. What is the stringency of this fast day? The Drosh Space Yishai, or Shlomo Fisher, from Eretz Yisrael points out, Shivas B'tamus is the date when, during the second Beis Amikdash, the forces of Titus breached the walls surrounding Yerushalayim. But that's not the source of Shiva Asr B'tamus. Because the Mishnah tells us that there were five tragedies. And what was the first tragedy of Shiva Asr B'tamus? That that was the date when Klal Yisrael committed the Cheda Egel. And Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Hasina just weeks after Kabbalah Satora saw the Egel and smashed the Luchos. A few weeks later, we mourn on Tisha B'av, of course, the day of the anniversary of the destruction of both Bate Mikdash and other tragedies, many other tragedies. But besides that, the Mishnah tells us that the source of Tisha B'av is the Ched HaMiraglim. The day the Miraglim returned from their trip to Eretz Yisrael and gave a negative report about the Holy Land. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, as it were, said, Atem Boche Bechiyah Shelchino. Kal Yisrael, you cried when you heard the Miraglim's report. You cried a cry of nothingness. I will enact for you a crying for generations, and that's what Tisha B'Av is. Asura B'Teves, though, is the date when Nebuchadnezzar's forces in the first Beis HaMikdash surrounded Yerushalayim. The first Beis HaMikdash. Why do we still mourn for that now in the Golis, which is directly, more directly related to the second Beis HaMikdash? And our Fisher points out that even Tzom Gedalia, he said Tzom Gedalia was the end, end, end of the Churban base of the Churban Bayis Rishon. There was still a Yeshuv, there was still a spark left, and that was the end that brought about the second Beis Hamikdash, or brought about the period of Golos leading up to the second Beis Hamikdash, and the second Beis Hamikdash never recaptured the godless of the first Beis Hamikdash. But what is the root of Asar Betavis, and why it's such a serious day? And our Fisher says, if I wasn't afraid, I would assert and I would think that that was the day that the brothers sold Yosef HaTzadik. And these, that is the third of the terrible tragedies that Kal Yisrael committed. V'chid Egel, V'chid Maraglim, and Mechiras Yosef HaTzadik. When the brothers sold Yosef. And of course, now we understand why Asar B'tevis is such a serious day. The selling of Yosef was the beginning of the end, of a period that unraveled. Of course, later there was a reconciliation in Parshas Vayigash, Ani Yosef, but that was a hate that we still suffer from today. All period, all, all lack of disunity in Klal Yisrael was rooted back to Mechiras Yosef. And that is exactly what happened in the time of Nebuchadnezzar. It was the beginning of the end. The siege that he laid in Yerushalayim, even though Yismikash wasn't destroyed for quite a few months, but that was the beginning of the end. And Hasar B'teves is a time of mourning when a person, when people, when Kali Yisrael, when us, don't take stock and think about what's happening. Don't see the warning signs, the ominousness that's coming. That's what Hasar B'teves mourns. When we have an opportunity to change something, don't sell Yosef. Do tshuva now. The siege doesn't have to end up with a churban beis hamikdash. When we fail to heed to those messages, that's the tragedy of Asura B'teves. Now, Kaddish Baruch Hu should help us. That in this Asura B'teves, should be zochet to the kim of the words of the Navi, that it will be l'sasan l'simcha, that Asura B'teves and Shavasa B'tamas and Tishubav and Som Gidal, you will all be days of celebration. We will celebrate the coming of Mashiach and the rebuilding of all that was lost and the great Nechama Sion and Binyan Yerushalayim. Thank you.